Welcome to the latest episode of Branding the Experience. We discuss ways where we can create environments where employees actually want to come to work and customers want to keep coming back. Hi, I'm Ken Bader, your host for Branding the Experience. I'm also the author of the book, The Formula for Business Success Equals B Plus C Plus S, a discussion on brand, culture, and strategy alignment. And we're going to be talking about brand and strategy because our subject today is branding and strategic planning. Now, it's interesting. It's it's kind of come to the forefront of my mind and in my memory um, as we enter into strategic planning season, as we can see. It's August (laughs) at the time of this particular taping. Um, And it it reminds me of when I started to get into strategic planning. And it was literally a year into running Bader Training and Consulting. Uh, I started Bader Training and Consulting in late 2001 and began writing a lot of articles and, and doing some of the things that you see here with video and podcasts and so forth. And originally when I started my little business, I concentrated on sales and marketing training and a little bit of branding and, and wrote articles on, on those subjects. And a CEO from a, a large organization on the East Coast uh, emailed me out of the blue and said, you know, I've been reading your articles, and, and I had a couple of questions. And so I said, terrific, let's let's set up a call. So we spoke for about a half an hour, and, and thankfully for me, he, he said that he enjoyed uh, the pieces that I was writing, and I, I clarified a couple of things that I wrote about. And I could hear him thinking on the other side of the, the, the phone, going, hmm, like, all right, well, we're going to need you to facilitate our strategic planning session. That'll be in about two months um, at this particular resort. Uh, I'm going to need you to be available either this day or that day for a conference call with my board of directors. Um, and please you know, write up a proposal and, and let me know what your pricing would be for uh, facilitating for two days. Uh, does that sound good? And I said, of course, I, w- I would love to do that with you. And, and thank you for the opportunity to serve you and, and your team. And we set up the time and hung up. And as soon as the phone uh, <laughs> was was put back down on, on, the, uh, uh, on the cradle, I said, well, how the hell do I do strategic planning? <laughs> I had never facilitated it before. Fortunately, I had been a, uh, uh, exposed to it uh, via uh, strategic planning sessions that I had as an executive where I was an attendee and not the facilitator. So it certainly wasn't a foreign concept to me. Um, and also I found that a lot of the branding curriculum that I had and that I was teaching fit in well with strategic planning. So I used that as a foundation for that particular engagement and, and have in one way, shape, or form ever since and found out that not only do I have a lot of fun doing strategic planning, uh, but it's it's one of... Uh, my favorite engagements that I do with clients, uh, coupled with the the curriculum that I have for branding, seems to to really fit with the with the strategy sessions. So especially as you've heard me talk about in one of my recent articles on brand personality, you know, I bring in some of those branding elements because if we don't truly understand how, what our image is and what our unique story is it makes it very difficult to really set goals for growth for organization. On the contrary, when we understand exactly who we're about, uh, not only through our brand personality, which is you know who we are as a business if we were a person, but also our brand principle, which is how we want our brand or our image to be conveyed, as well as our brand associations, things that people think of as soon as they think of our brand or, or look at our logo. You know, those types of insights you know, really do help in the strategic planning session to set goals, to, to make sure that our mission and vision are aligned with who we are, and also understand the right growth. You know, I, as I mentioned before, I work with a lot of credit unions in, in other financial institutions, 
And, and a lot of times, yeah, from a finance standpoint, you know, we we look at things from 180 degrees different, which isn't necessarily the right way. You know, we think from a finance standpoint, you know, if we could just serve more people, if we could just get more members or customers in here, we would obviously make more money and sell more product. Well, that's not necessarily the case because not every individual is your member, customer, or client. Uh, it was a hard lesson for me to learn in my business, and it's certainly a hard lesson in financial services and, and even restaurants and salons. You know, you know, I, I'm not a customer for most salons. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know, look, look at the hairline. Um, but when we think about what is our unique niche, because we can't be all things to all people. You know, we have to understand first what is our brand and how can we strategize to drive more of the right people to our particular business and when we understand that in strategic planning what makes us unique what's our unique image what is different about us than any other competitor that we have then all of a sudden we get to brand our growth strategy which is very valuable understanding our niche and understanding, you know, we really resonate with this particular group. We resonate with this particular profession, uh, whether it be, you know, back in the old days, paper mill workers or postal workers today, or um, as, as I talked about, police, fire, teachers, um, or maybe it's a certain type of person. Uh, one of my clients concentrates on some of the younger folks that don't necessarily have the best credit uh, or the best finances and they go out of their way to make sure that they teach and also respect those people and they've built a very very successful business niching on that particular person not necessarily a profession but a particular type of customer or individual so I implore you, don't forget your brand and your unique story as you delve into your strategic planning going into next year. And as always, if you need a little bit of help, especially with aligning your brand, culture, and strategy, I'm your guy. So feel free to contact me, uh, 714-681-2821. Uh, we'll have other contact information after this video. Uh, but thank you for spending some time with me today. And here's hoping that you're branding the experience during your strategic planning retreat every single time you have one. Take care.